What is up my dogs lost in here? We have an umbrella rig or an A rig tied on and we're gonna go see if we can catch some fish along the beach here in South Florida throwing the A rig. Let's go. down the beach and that is a perfect example of what we're trying to mimic. A school of pilchards just came swimming right by our feet while we were trying to get some footage of the A-Rig and that's what we're trying to mimic. There's a school of small white bait fish cruising down the beach and hopefully there's some big snook or jack or tarpon trying to crush them. Oh, snook all over it. Oh, dude, snook chased it all the way in right there. Come on. First bit of intrigue, about a 25 inch snook followed it all the way up to the beach and then jumped off. Followed it. Oh! Dang, man, that was like 28, probably like 27, 28 inch and he followed it in twice. Ooh. Oh! Damn! That was a giant! Literally crushed it right as I was trying to pull it out of the water. Still right here. I don't know if he understands what happened or not. Dude, freaking smoked it. The way it was behaving though, I wonder if it hit one of the dummy ones and not one with a hook. So he didn't like run off or anything, but it felt like like literally, like my rod loaded up. I did, I was casting at him, but I didn't, I couldn't even, the waves broke and I couldn't tell that, I didn't know that he turned on to me. Oh, there's a fish, nice. Oh, he dropped it. Come on. I got three hooks in this thing, how's that possible? All right, we've been honestly throwing the A-Rig around for about an hour or so and had some follows and you know, nothing crazy. And then all of a sudden the weather started to get a little crappier the wind picked up and we've been getting slammed. That's two really big fish have smoked the A-Rig and just come unhooked somehow. So I am uh, really hopeful that we can do some damage here, man. Oh, he turned on it. Oh man, it is really interesting. This A-Rig really gets the interest of fish because it's just such a big presence. That was like a 40 plus inch snook cruising down the beach, pulled the A-Rig across his head and he literally went S-turn right into it and just didn't eat it. It was a big one. It was a very, very big one. It's hard to say if we would have been catching a ton of fish if we weren't throwing an A-Rig, but this thing is provocative. It gets the fish going, man. Like, they follow this thing nearly every time. Oh, look Ooh. at the giant stuff. Oh, dude. Easily 38 to 40 inch snook. Ripped this across the top of his head and he crushed it. He just didn't like actually get any of the hooks. We've been hit probably like five or six times by big fish who I don't even know how they're just not getting. Uh, that was a giant. Like, whoo. Out of water. His back and tail, everything was out of water. Oh man, fall me up right there. Snook right here. Dude, it's like impossible to hook a fish on this thing. He crushed it. Got him, finally. Oh, dude. I can't even tell you how many fish we've had tried to eat the A-Rig that haven't hooked up. This fish, I had to throw at him three times and each time he tried to hit it. It's crazy, man. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting him to pin on the A-Rig when it has three hooks hanging off of it. But we finally got one. At least we got one hooked. He's actually a bigger fish than I thought he was too. Not a giant, but thick little guy. And the hook's not even in his mouth, it's underneath his chin. I don't know why this has been such a struggle to actually hook a fish. Maybe the snook just swipe at it way more than like a large mouth would and they're not really targeting a single thing, I don't know. First fish on the A-Rig, probably the ninth fish we've had try to eat, but the first one we've actually managed to hook. Nice, probably 22, 23 inch snook. Man, we've seen some big ones and I have tried to eat it. It's just a little disappointing so far, but we'll let him go and see what we can make happen. That fish is pissed off. 
gosh, that was an angry little snook. I also managed to uh, entirely dump my reel in the water. It's really good to dunk your uh, bait casters into salt water and sand. One's on it. I just think it's just too, the baits are too small. Those are mega, oh, there's a fish. There's a cuda came and ate it. A giant school of jack, like really big giant jack for ball were chewing by. And I threw the A-rig out there, but all the baits on here are just a little too small. Like they were giant. And a cuda came by and swiped it. All right, a beautiful little cuda right there. We're just gonna throw him back in the water. Cruising in the surf, pretty neat. Slight bit of a letdown there. Literally saw probably 10 jack all pushing 30 to 40 pounds. Threw up in them, had one tail it for a few minutes or a few feet, then the cuda came in and swiped it, but we were seeing fish. I actually feel like I just saw something else right here too. He turned on it. Come on, did it, com did it complete 360. <laughs> that is so cool. He's on it again. He's still chasing it, man. He just saw me right next to him. Oh, look right there. Came out of the rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna hop down. Freaking hopped out of the rocks on me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Not a giant one, so I'm not too sweating it, but I'll try and side out one of this. I guess he's he's not too big. I can probably just flip him up right here. Beautiful. Another one on the A-Rig. Just probably a little 17, 18 inch or not the giant we're looking for, but it's working. I knew it would, man. We're getting so much good interest from fish, but we're just having a hard time getting them to commit. But there's a little guy off the rocks and we'll gently toss him back in as light as we can here. Just a little flop. Off he goes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, that is so big. <laughs> oh, the snook just went airborne trying to eat the Alabama rig right in the surf in the exact same spot. Like literally he came all the way out of the water. That was nuts. It literally went whoop, like whoop, like that after the, uh, behind the rig. Oh, come on. He's on it again. Literally rode up the rock. Oh, he keeps smashing it. And three times in a row, he smashed it. Oh, he followed it, he followed it. That shark followed my, my A-Rig in, and when he came up after it, a snook blew up from the trough that was being, got scared from the shark and swam up into the surf. We've hopped off the beach and decided to close things out here in the car because it was so windy and loud on the beach and then we were parked alongside the road, you couldn't hear anything. Oh man, throwing the A-Rig was like really, really cool experiment, but at the same time, a little bit frustrating and disappointing because the amount of big fish and the amount of fish that followed the A-Rig and didn't eat was infuriating. I think really it was just a matter of fishing on the beach where the water clarity is beautiful and they're getting up on this thing and then seeing all the steel leaders and crimps coming off of it and kind of getting turned away from it. I think if we were able to use like a totally clear A-Rig, which they make some of those, it'd probably be a different situation, but it was really interesting to see how hot the snook got fired up on that thing. Really fun time, it was cool. I really enjoy doing these challenge videos, throwing different types of lures and trying to see what we can make happen in the salt water. If you have any suggestions, leave comments down below, but I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. We'll catch you on the next one.
Okay, Jacob. Jacob, I think you might have found a smaller pontoon boat. 